So, hello and welcome to Hunter Call to the Wild, a tutorial. Yeah, I'm going to do a tutorial. How about that? Huh? It's something that if you Google, you don't get any answers. And one of the questions was, how do you keep your players level and money um, and, and inventory, but reset everything else and the answer is within the safe folder itself so as we can see we've explored a lot of this map um, in fact we should tell us in i think it's profile card maybe no not profile card hunter profile does that tell us uh some way it tells us world stats player stats no Central Europe regions, uh, Hershen. Okay, it it tells you somewhere. I I can't remember where you find it. Uh, um, honestly, I I I don't know. But anyway, you get the gist. And yes, we're on Hershenfeld, Hershfeld, and I'll get it right one day. So we're going to exit this because um, yeah where we're going to have a look at this so before you begin take your avalanche studio folder and make a backup now this is backed up we don't have to worry we can now this folder normally doesn't have anything in it by all means delete it if you like it won't affect your save game any old save games uh, might have to go into this folder you might be a different number for you but we'd have to go into this folder in order to get work to work because they they've changed the way safe saving works it's now in here and um, I presume each one of these slots is a backup of this so within here you can actually delete your backup it doesn't matter if if uh, for some reason this one gets corrupted you can revert to uh, a later backup but as you can see it seems to save it across the board for all of them I don't know why but anyway we won't question that in fact it should be at 237 okay and then that one mm. okay Maybe it doesn't, maybe it saves across all of them, which would be kind of weird. Or certain files, are, anyway, whatever. We're assuming that that's the backup folder. It'd be better if it was uh, different, each region had its own slot. That would be a lot easier to work with. Unfortunately, I don't know how to reset your world data without, for each specific um, reserve I believe that they're all um, stored within uh, within within here and you can't se uh, segregate them into specifics unfortunately maybe that will come at one at one point at some point even but anyway explaining the files obviously self-explanatory for a lot of them your progression through your missions for the achievements and your overall achievements uh, obviously achievements as in how many deer you've shot uh, how many tracks you've followed mission progress achievements are mission based achievements like kill x amount of roe deer or moose or whatever your fog of war is obviously the shroud that's on your map that you haven't um, revealed so you can't see what's below that fog um, in terms of where you've been you can't see any need zones or anything so you could if you delete them which we will that will mean that all of the map all the reserves will now be uh, covered in fog of war again these you don't have to delete if you do delete them then you've got to do them again annual population you might have uh, zero to nine or whatever each one i believe is a reserve um delete them resets your animal population keeping them leaves them as they are so for the tutorial we will delete them this doesn't really matter um, it's normal it just it's just a codex 
uh, collectibles if you don't want to run around collecting all those collectibles again don't delete that file if you do then delete it you know personally I don't care about looking for collectibles so I'm going to leave it there so any that I do find will be there I won't be keeping this safe also I don't know what I'm saying I will keep it you know but anyway if I was we'll assume now I'm starting I'm keeping my profile but deleting all world data that I don't want for the tutorial anyway so uh, we'll keep that contextual help I believe that you know like um, instead of having talking it will be things like your WASD um, tutorial basic tutorial help functions and that and the information like when you put a tree stand or tripod down for the first time and it comes up with all of that information uh, because I don't see all gain I will leave it found icons these are you know the the question marks on the map on, on in each reserve if you don't want to have to go to them again and and reveal them leave them if you do then remove them some of them obviously give you uh, uh, your bonus points for revealing and and reading the information on them others are just hunter stands uh, blinds etc I'm going to leave them because well I don't particularly care found need zones well if you're covering the map with fog of war then you don't really want this um, I'm going to delete mine I'd rather re invent the um, re let the, the map regenerate those need zones for me rather than go into need zones that might not even be actually working anymore your hunting log and your leaderboard uh, these will just reset what you what you've uh, killed and you know like your latest harvests and your harvests and your leaderboard um, well leaderboards aren't working at the moment anyway so we'll do we'll delete them mission and missions missions and missions data or missions underscore mission data is obviously when you start the world you'll get the you know welcome to and whatever reserve you're on and talk you up through it a little bit and, and all that lovely stuff um, I don't want to hear all that bull again I've heard it once I don't need to hear it again so I'm going to leave it if you do want to hear all of that and have it like you're playing from the beginning but with your character with a, a much higher level then by all means delete it it won't break your save file player information it'll be things like how far you've ran what how many animals you've shot um, and what grade they was I silver bronze diamond gold etc I delete it because I'd rather start all that again regions uh, the regions that you've been to and uh, and all that and then the reserve data world data is all the parks that you've been to uh, deleting them as now reset I've never been as far as the game's concerned I've never been to that reserve even though any uh, any reserves that I've been to where I've already had the missions um, dialogue and everything from the beginning is still there so settings don't delete that because that's just a copy of your um, of, of this file here it's just these basically uh, this one even basically so don't delete that you don't need to it'll just be recreated but don't need to delete it just leave it statistics again I delete it that's again going to be to do with your player stuff uh, this keep do not delete under any circumstances otherwise you will be starting a new profile some people I know have, uh, have talked about that they've deleted the trophy lodges and it's had no effect I leave it but you can delete it if you like this one is a biggie for those who do not want to lose all of their blinds and tree pods and uh, tripods and tree stands uh, tents if you don't want to have them removed and you want them to remain on the world in each of the reserves that you visited already leave that they will still be there if you want it to be a complete blank canvas that you haven't um, you haven't placed any delete it all of those that you had placed will immediately be put back into your storage you won't lose them unfortunately I'd rather that you lose them and start with literally nothing and uh, and set up your your character profile the way you want to play um, 
the way that it originally started off you with the 243 and you had to unlock the 270 that's how i'd rather have it so you literally progress you buy a tree stand your first ever tree stand pour it up it's a big deal start off with three not so much a big deal you run out then you want to buy another one one second sorry about that uh, anyway um, so yeah delete at your own risk but at uh, your own risk delete at your own preference but uh, it's up to you we will leave it for this tutorial so you can see um, and we will remove the backups because well we we don't want them and then we'll relaunch our game and we will hit the continue and go to Hirsch, uh, Hirschfelden and you will see the normal stuff um, so obviously you're going to get this information and for some reason I always have to go like that in order to be able to click that button or any button on the I don't know why it's like um, when it loads it doesn't take into consideration that the game is the main screen at that point <coughs> uh, and then select your reserve well I'm going to continue you might want to select a reserve but here we are on Hirschender Hirschfelden get it right no we're not we're on Leighton okay well but as you can see where we've been the icons we've unlocked are still unlocked um where we haven't been well as far as the map's concerned uh, the game's concerned we haven't been anywhere but we've got these unlocked had we deleted the uh, found icons map all of these would have now been question marks or uh, hidden until we like the at least the, the huts would have been hidden until we actually revealed them um but we wanted to go to Hirschfelden because that's the one that we've got all of our blinds and everything set up on and as you saw uh, i should have pointed it out back at the start point but because the map thing the game thinks that we're starting over no mission dialogue or anything has come up because we kept the missions file so we haven't pardon me got the annoying people going you know telling us about the map but we've still got our levels and money and xp and our um, inventory is all still intact we've still got the mows on and the um beakers 360 and uh, and all of our callers that we've been using on um lake Leighton lake and we've still got our blinds the and all of our um, decoys and then they the uh, the blind there so we can hunt them should they come in and we go our tent and we can actually jump there and everything will work as it was intended to And here we are. And if we go back to our folder, it's now recreated all of our information again. And slot zero has now got all of this. 
back in it and as I pointed out this folder is blank I don't know why it creates it but it does um, so yeah and uh, we will I don't know if geese are working again. I haven't been able to click on geese and um, and find out what uh, sex they are flying over. So let me just wait for the geese to come. It is seven o'clock in the morning, or nearly half past seven in the morning. We'll see if any geese fly overhead and um, maybe we should get inside our blind here and and uh, and wait conveniently how you can you know that that just doesn't look weird at all the fact that you can completely turn you should be limited on your movement to you know a bit more this rather than being able to look behind you i guess you can turn over within here I guess that's what try, that's trying to represent. As you have a fallow deer in the distance. Anyway, the good thing about the tutorial is it will allow you to do what we've just done. And it will work any park that you've been to, you'll get, depending on what you've done to your save folder, you'll get the same outcome. Um in terms of if you keep your missions file you won't have all of that annoying dialogue again unless you find that dialogue interesting then that's different um, if you are a person who doesn't want to collect collectibles again because you've already done it once you don't have to refine them then you don't have to do that um, just reset the world to how you want it to be reset if you want to do that and that means that you don't have to download one of those, you know, profiles that are like level 60 or whatever level they are. <coughs> you can you can keep your own profile and progressively level up and and um, and go from there. I saw some tracks in that area earlier this morning. Hold on, I'll send the coordinates. Fortunately, I can't do anything about that particular one apart from going to settings and uh, audio and turn her completely down there is that one are these geese going to fly overhead anytime soon that would be nice because we don't want to it's a tutorial video, not a normal game. So maybe that's just um, graphical, isn't it? It's a graphical thing. It's not really uh, anything that you can shoot. Anyway, you got the gist of it. We ain't going to stay here. We're going to end the, the stream here, and um, and I will continue hanging around here, waiting, um, and hopefully uh, I will let you know when in the the video that comes up uh, if the geese are if you can interact with the geese or not. In my current profile this profile unmodified I can't do anything with the geese they don't land they don't you can't click on them as they fly over so therefore you can't shoot them or well, I haven't actually took a shot at them but I presume you can't shoot them meaning they're broken but I'm um, thank you for watching hope it helps someone out there and uh, is of, of uh, importance or interest and 
until the next one. I'll catch you guys later.